So today we have two crucial games. We have a game against Bayer Leverkusen and a game against Dermstadt. The game against Leverkusen is the most crucial game of the season so far because it is so tight at the top of the table. This game could decide who wins the Bundesliga. Welcome to Building Bayern. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Building Bayern. And today we do have a crucial game at home against Leverkusen, who are top of the table. Now, just to recap, we have been knocked out of the Champions League by the mighty Barcelona. And since then, we have played two games since. We played Frankfurt, which we beat 3-0, which was a very good game, to be honest. Mayer, Ozil and Rudy with the goals. I tweaked the system a little bit and it seemed to work, but then... We went away to Wolfsburg and Borja Merorol scored the goal which killed us and demoted us into second place in the Bundesliga. So today we do have a game against Leverkusen and at the top of the table it is really really tight. We have Schalke in third with 53 points and then at the top we have ourselves and Leverkusen separated by goal difference alone. Our form is is better than Leverkusen's because they have only won two in five and we have won three in five but they've drew drawn two we've lost two our last game was a loss as well theirs was a win so this game could go either way so with that being said this is the team that i have gone with it is Manuel Neuer in goal, Pass Laxall, Boateng Hinrichs, Kimmich, Rudy, Meyer, Ozil, Sané and Selk now this team I think is the best team we have at the moment because Emre Shan and Matt Hummels are both injured. Hummels is out for two months with a hip injury, so that's his season over with. And Emre Shan, his season's over with with damaged Achilles tendons. So this is the team that I've gone with. Now, because we got knocked out of the Champions League, Joshua Kimmich is unhappy. He wants to move to a bigger team. What? Who's bigger than Bayern Munich? Really? Bayern Munich is the biggest team in the world if not the biggest but anyways he wants to move to a bigger team so whatever we can deal with that later but apart from that everyone else is pretty solid and hopefully we can get the win against Leverkusen today at home at the Allianz Arena so before we get started with the game I just want to say that so before we get started with the game make sure to leave a like on this video just to big me up and hopefully with your power of the like button we can actually beat Leverkusen today. And I also want to say as well that I will be streaming on YouTube and Twitch all of this week at 6 o'clock, Monday to Friday. I'll be streaming a bit now being saved, which is on my channel already. There is two live streams there. We'll be going for a couple of hours, so make sure to drop on by and say hi in them as well. So, as you can see, Bayern Munich are favourites for the game. So hopefully we can beat them and go back to the top of the table. So we are into the game and it's Leverkusen with the kickoff. They are in their black kit. We are in our red kit. So highlight Lars Bender. Gives it to Bomlet Girler to Chicharito. Back into defence to Dragovic. To Wendell. Tackle him. Well in Paslak. Well in. Paslak is now off penalties. Don't like him on penalties because he keeps missing them. So he is now off them. Kimmich. Gives it to Rudy, to Ozil. Nice little play in the midfield. Selk. What can I do with it? Gives it to Leroy Sané. Back to Ozil. Out wide to Henriks. What can I do with it? Get in there! Mesut Ozil with the goal. That is his amazing seventh goal of the season. And that puts us top of the table. Beating Leverkusen. Three points clear. Come on, Munich. Get in. What a goal by Mesut Ozil. Comes up clutch. That is a fantastic piece of play to put us 1-0 up at home at the Allianz Arena. So that is half time and we are 1-0 ahead with that amazing goal from Meza Ozil. I'm just going to tell the team to go straight back out there and carry on exactly where you left off. Because we are doing absolutely fantastic in this game. So second half kicks off. Look at the stats over here. We are in full control of the game but anything can happen in a game of football in the Bundesliga. Boateng with the free kick to Henriks. Give it, gives it back to Ozil to Leroy Sané. Come on, pass it. Pass, pass a move, pass a move. Henriks, 
Whip it in. Unlucky. Ozil again. Ozil back out to Meyer. Get in. That makes it two. That secures the game. His eighth goal of the season. Maximilian Meyer. Get in there. 2 0 Bayern Munich. Get back in your box, Leverkusen. Meyer. Absolutely fantastic first shot strike. I can't get my words out. Come on, Munich. Ozil again with a free kick. Whips it in. Selk's there. Boateng at the back post. That makes it free. We are showing Leverkusen who is boss. Showing them where their position is. It is under us in second place. No one deserves that top spot more than we do. We are showing the Bundesliga who is a dominant force in German football. And that is Bayern Munich. 68 minutes gone. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions. Don't really have to. But I just want to keep the team fresh. Sané is the lowest performing player out there. So I'm going to bring on Maximilian Philippe on in that left wing position. And who else is looking absolutely shattered? Kimmich is looking knackered. So I'm going to bring Gaudinho on for him. And hopefully with the 3-0 lead, it should be wrapped up. So before the substitutions, we have a highlight. Henriks gives it to Leroy Sané. He passes it into the middle to Kimmich. Selk. What can he do with it? Runs past one. Run past two. Has the shot. And sends it over the bar. Come on, Munich. And that looks like it is the end of the game. We have shown Leverkusen who is boss in the Bundesliga. And we have gone three points clear at the top of the table. Absolutely thrashing Leverkusen. And reclaiming the top spot in Germany. So, next game is a game against Darmstadt. And hopefully we can get the win against them. And take us even further clear in the Bundesliga. I'll see you at the game. So we are back for the game against Darmstadt. And as you can see, we have a new camera angle. Yeah, I figured it out finally. Let me know what you think of the camera angle. Let me know what you think of the mic quality. Like I say, I am still experimenting with my setup. Once I've got it sorted, I will be giving you a setup tour. There isn't that much to see though, so... But today we do have a game against Darmstadt. And hopefully it is a way and we can get the victory. To go even more clear of Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. The only change I've made is Jonathan Tarr has come in for Jerome Boateng. Because I really want to give these this centre-back pairing a lot of game time together. To get that cohesive unit close. Because this is the centre-back pairing of the future. But apart from that, the team is exactly the same. And hopefully we can get the victory today. As you can see, we're favourites for it. Schalke have gone top of the league, but they have played a game in hand. Leverkusen have lost their game, I believe, which is fantastic news. So if we win today, we can go even further clear of both Schalke and Leverkusen. So kickoff highlight, very, very crucial game for us against Darmstadt. We need to win to take advantage of the poor results our rivals have had. But Darmstadt are through, have a shot, but it goes over the bar. Okay, so finally we have a highlight. This first half has been very drab. So Neuer is going to start the attack. Tatar. Back to Saul, his centre-back partner, to pass like. Nice little bit of passing around the back. Into the midfield. Ozil. Back into the defence. Henriks. What can I do with it? If anything, back to Ozil. Ozil trying to look for the forward run from the attackers. No one's there. Rudy. Can he slip the ball into someone? Rudy. No. Henriks. Back to Rudy. Back to Ozil. Henricks with the overlapping run. To Ozil again. Slips it through to Davy Selk. Davy Selk to Mayer. Mayer's through. Mayer has a shot and it's saved by the keeper. Oh, come on, Bayern Munich. We're better than this. We do have a corner though. Ozil with it. Whips the ball in. Sewell's there and with the header and it is saved by the keeper. And that is half time. And even though we have domination of the game. We're not converting that domination in to goals. Absolutely aggressive team talk. And the team are fired up. Going to send them straight back out there. And hopefully we can do something. And from going from control, I'm going to go straight into attacking. Because we need to get players forward and start scoring goals. So, pass lack with the throw in. Back to Meyer. Runs inside. Runs inside, has the shot. And it's over the bar. Come on, Bayern Munich. Another highlight, we're piling on the pressure now. But they're going to relieve it with the bad throw-in to the opposition player. Ozil has it now though. 
Tries to get it through to Mayer, couldn't get it there. Ozil again, to Mayer. So save his silk. Out to the wing to Paslak. Whips the ball in. Only to the defender though. What are they going to do with it? Clear it. Only to our player, Kimmich. Back in the defence. Recycle possession. Rudy. Back to Mayer. Gives it to Paslak. Tries to whip the ball in. And that's a penalty. Gets in. Penalty to Bayern Munich. An inconsiderate foul. And it is not Paslak taking it. It is going to be Joshua Kimmich. The player who is wanting out from Bayern Munich steps up. The anticipation is killing me. Kimmich fires it into the bottom corner of the net. Gets in. 1-0 Bayern Munich. That sends us three points clear of Schalke. Six points clear of Leverkusen. Come on. We are winning the Bundesliga. It is so tight at the top. Gets in. Kimmich fires it into the bottom corner. Pass luck is our penalties. Not trustworthy at all. But Maximilian Mayer is injured. So I'm going to bring him off straight away. Going to bring Thomas Muller on in that right wing position. Going to put him on as his favourite position as a Royd mentor. David Selk is the lowest performing player. So I'm going to bring him off and bring Philip on as well. And we are going to go with that team. And I'm going to put them back into control. Try to... No, not counter. Control. Nearly made, it, nearly made a mistake. To try and take this game by the scruff of the neck and close it down. Ozil with the free kick to Tar. So, oh, I thought that was going to be a second goal for him. Corner kick. Ozil whips the ball in. Couldn't beat the first man. Dobster, are they going to counter us? Dangerous play. Passlack is there to clean it up though. No danger whatsoever. We are dominating this game. 23 shots, 60% possession. 89 pass completion rate. Henricks with the throw in. Gives it to Leroy Sané. Phillips there. Paslak. Paslak is there. Redeems himself with a thunderbolt of a free kick. Free kick of a shot. Looks like a free kick. Absolutely amazing. Sané passes it to Phillips. Sees Paslak on the edge of the area. And he wallops that. That is a thunderbolt from his boot. Into the back of the net. 2-0 by Munich. Come on. That should be the end of the game. Kimmich to Rudy. Gives it to Tar. Henricks. Referee needs to blow up now. Rudy. Referee blows up. 2-0 away from home. Fantastic results. Go with the passionate. Well done. Absolutely amazing. And that send, sends us clear at the top of the table again. Showing, them, showing the rest of the league who is boss. Now. We have... Five games left in the league. I'm going to be coming back for the Stuttgart, Ingolstadt, then the Leipzig, Schalke games. Because these are all clashes that we need to win. I would do them all, but I think the Hoffenheim is a bit of an easy game. It is at home. So I'm going to leave that one off camera. I'm going to do Stuttgart, Ingolstadt in one episode. And Leipzig, Schalke in the final episode of the season. To see if we can win the Bundesliga. Okay ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a like on the video. If you're liking how close the top of the league is at the moment. Leave a, Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. So you don't miss the end of the season. And remember I am streaming every day this week from 6 o'clock. So make sure to come follow me on Twitch and on YouTube. So you don't miss out on the content that is there. Okay guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in a bit.